because you'll also need to know about the factors that affect the rate of photosynthesis. But it's okay, there's only three of these, and to make life easier, they're called the limiting factors, because they limit the rate of photosynthesis. Well, light has to be one of those, since it doesn't happen if there's no light at all. Absolutely right. And if we take a look at this graph here, we can see that the more sunlight there is, the faster the rate of photosynthesis, although there is an optimum rate of photosynthesis with light. So if light is readily available, the plant reaches its maximum rate of photosynthesis, then remains constant. OK, so what about the second limiting factor? The second variable is carbon dioxide. Whilst water is usually readily available, there's very little carbon dioxide in the air at the best of times. So does the rate of photosynthesis increase with the amount of carbon dioxide available? Yes, and if we look at our carbon dioxide graph, we can see that there is also an optimum rate of photosynthesis with carbon dioxide. So what's the third factor? The third limiting factor is temperature. So is there an optimum rate here too? No, temperature is different. Generally, the rate of photosynthesis goes up with temperature. That's why plants in the tropics grow so quickly, because they're warm and light is available for most of the year. Plants in Britain and other cold climates stop growing in the winter because there's no light to photosynthesize with. However, take a look at our temperature graph. Can you see how the rate of photosynthesis suddenly drops to nothing once a certain temperature is reached? Oh, yeah. Well, this is because high temperatures actually start to destroy enzymes in the chlorophyll, rendering photosynthesis impossible. So how hot does it need to be then? Good question. It's usually around 45 degrees centigrade, which is very hot for outdoors and doesn't usually happen. But greenhouses can get this hot, so gardeners, beware. So that's photosynthesis. Plants making food so they can grow. I don't think I'll ever look at plants in the same way again.